I want to talk about uh, a fundamental way that this book was organized, is organized, and that is the color coding system. One day I was in my quiet time and I was had had the Lord revealed to me like okay, uh, you know there's over 500 uses of the word spirit in the Old and New Testaments. Of course, we're trying to figure out which one of those is the Holy Spirit because most spirits are not the Holy Spirit. There's probably trillions of spirits that are not the Holy Spirit. And um, again, many of those 500 passages in the Bible um, are not the Holy Spirit. And so well, how, how, how do you know? And it'd be nice for me to just look at those passages and say, oh, this one is the Holy Spirit and this one isn't. But sometimes it's not always clear cut, okay? And so there's there's some some gracious and obvious examples: the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, right? And so whenever we're using this kind of nomenclature, these titles, we know that we're talking about the Holy Spirit, and. But then there's other spirits, and so or there are other references to like the spirit, okay? And so in, for example, Romans chapter eight, Paul says, "Set your mind on the things of the spirit." I mean, okay, what the spirit? What spirit? Like, is that an angel? Is that my own spirit? Is that is that the Holy Spirit? Um, and he does he 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 does the kind of thing over and over again. Um, since we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit, he says in Galatians chapter 5. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, um, manifestation of the Spirit. And so uh, it'd be nice to just assume that we're talking about the Holy Spirit, but how do we know that we're talking about the Holy Spirit? Because we want to get all of the references. It turns out that one of the the big ways that people make errors whenever they're trying to interpret scripture is they just kind of pick their little cherry, they they cherry pick their little verses, their verses that they like, that they're familiar with. And, you know, there's, there's not just one verse in the Bible, there's 33,000 verses in the Bible. And so if you just have a a handful of verses on something, well, chances are the Bible also has more to say about it than just that. Of course, depending on exactly what the topic is that you're talking about. And so if if we just uh, take what, what scientists would call a, a, a sample that's not representative, a biased sample, well, then we're obviously going to come to the wrong conclusion, right? And so this is the kind of the scope of this project is we want to get every single reference to the Holy Spirit. And so by doing that, we have to start with every single reference to any spirit at all and then go through and figure out which ones of those are the Holy Spirit. And so I'm, I'm, the Lord is like revealing this to me, like Robbie, like you, you can't just decide like it's not, some of them are just not that clear. And so you need to be intellectually honest that, some of the verses are hard like this. The Bible is not like the idiot's guide to the Bible. It is something that the most brilliant men in the Western world have struggled with for their entire lives. And so like the idea that it's just a, a a cut and dry closed case is arrogant and it's foolish. And so then I started praying like, all right, God, how do I how do I deal with it? How do I be intellectually honest about the difficulty of categorizing these verses? And I felt like the Lord gave me a a, a color coding system: red light, green light. Okay, and so green light, green the all the verses that have a, a green dot next to them. Those verses are make an explicit reference to the Holy Spirit. And so, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of God. And so we know that we're talking about God, the Holy Spirit, okay? Now, there are many other references to the Holy Spirit, but they don't use those. Spirit of the living God is very obviously God, except that it doesn't meet the the criteria that I just mentioned. Spirit of the Lord God 
doesn't mention that, but again, it's very obvious to God. And then the the other cases where I had mentioned before in in Romans eight and First uh, Corinthians chapter twelve and Galatians five and on and on and on, where Paul and others um, make reference to the Spirit, but of course, what well, you know, what Spirit is that? Pray tell. Would love to know. So. Those verses where I argue that we are talking about the Holy Spirit are marked with a yellow dot. And so it's just kind of indicating like, okay, we need to be cautious. Caution is warranted. We need to be careful. Okay. I argue that those verses are the Holy Spirit and I give in the footnotes my analysis based on every single one of those verses. I'm sure some arguments are better than others, you know. <laughs> but um, then the, th- the third case would be verses that don't have any dot at all. And those are verses that, that use the word spirit, but where I argue that it's not the Holy Spirit. And so there's some, um, some examples that are exceedingly obvious. Spirit of an unclean devil. Okay, well, obviously, we're not talking about God. Um, your spirit, when Paul is talking or somebody's talking about a person, um, in the Old Testament, it said that God is the father of spirits, the father of spirits of all flesh. And so, like, okay, well, I think pretty obviously, we're not talking about the Holy Spirit there, right? And so, in the Part two, where we're asking the question, who is the Holy Spirit? There are verses that are categorized based upon a a kind of a topical approach, but they still are ranked, as it were, based upon the color coding system. And then in part three, we have three different chapters. The first one is every explicit reference to the Holy Spirit. And so those are all the explicit references in the Old and New Testament, and they're marked with green. Then the chapter after that is inferred references to the Holy Spirit. Those are all marked with yellow. They, they have the word spirit in them. And I am arguing that those are the Holy Spirit. And then the last chapter in that part of the book is um, references that are not the Holy Spirit. And so every, every instance of the Holy Spirit, or excuse me, every instance of the word spirit that is not the Holy Spirit. And so it would either be a human spirit or an angelic spirit or a demonic spirit, but not the Holy Spirit. And so that is the color coding system that it is important to keep in mind as we are going through this text.